This is Twit. Lightroom, as I mentioned, if you're if you're a pro, you already know Lightroom. Uh, I think Lightroom on the iPad works very nicely in harmony with uh, Lightroom on the desktop. But a lot of times people don't want to, you know, they don't want, that's too much, that's too much effort. So I'll show you a few other really great ones. We'll start with a free Google program called Snapseed. And I'll be honest, often I will, uh, I will just work in Snapseed. Oops. I don't want to, I don't want to use, I don't want to take a picture here. I will just uh, cancel that out, add a photo to Snapseed, open from device. Here we go. Let's take a, let's take a picture from my trip. What do you say? You know, I have some sunsets that, that came out a little washed out. Seeing a little washed mm. out. So I know people who use Instagram and uh, most programs now really love these filters. So, yeah, if you want filters, you absolutely can do filter. Well, that, that fixed it up pretty quick. Or accentuate faded glow. Ooh. But you don't have to use the filters. They also have a variety of really powerful editing tools. Everything from... You know, simple tuning. And I love the interface on this. So it says tune the image. These are the things in tune image I can do. And this is the kind of stuff that, frankly, uh, Lightroom does, but doesn't do quite as intuitively because you slide your fingers along. Let's let's bring up the uh, let's bring up the uh, saturation, bring up the color a little bit. Oh, look at that. Now the sun's popping a little bit. You know what, though? The whites are too white here. So let me let me uh, let me turn the highlights down a little bit. And turn the shadows up. You see how we, the, the the interface is kind of really uh, interesting because it's all finger, and that's how it should be. For uh, there's also an auto adjust feature. I know a lot of people like that. Um, huge number of uh, of filters, including one that I use uh, a lot, which is an HDR, very good quality HDR filter. Of course, monochrome. A lot of us are big fans of monochrome. And now, normally, you wouldn't turn a sunset into black and white, mm. but boy, that. Actually, like kind of looks good, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. So that's Snapseed. That's free. Google's been making this for a while. In fact, they bought the company that makes it, Nick, just to get that program, which hmm. is kind of sad for people like me who use the Nick filters, some of the best filters uh, out there.